What's up folks, how's it going? This is Wodge. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we're going to be doing a quick review of the Phantom 3 4K. Now, this is actually a new aerial photography tool that DJI released a couple of months ago. And they also released the Phantom 3 Standard, which we did a full review for. So definitely check out that video if you haven't. And they're all in the same family of Phantom 3 drones from DJI. The key difference between this drone and the Phantom 3 Professional is the Lightbridge technology. It's the same stuff you have on the Inspire 1 drone, which will give you a couple of different benefits. Firstly, the signal output is much more stronger on the Lightbridge enabled drone. So you get a HD 720p at 30 FPS compared to the uh, 480p that you get on most the Wi Fi enabled drones. You also get a better latency in addition to the longer unobstructed communication distance, which can be almost double the range of the Wi Fi enabled drones. Now, beyond those distinctions, there's really not a whole lot of difference between the Phantom 4K and the Phantom 3 Professional. In fact, in several regards they're pretty much identical to each other when it comes to the camera performance and the overall quality you get both can shoot obviously 4k at 30 fps and you could shoot different resolutions depending upon your needs as well you can shoot up to uh, 60 fps in full hd mode and in terms of the flight dynamics the phantom 4k is pretty much identical to the professional they both have the uh, vision positioning system which contains an optical flow sensor as well as an ultrasound sensor that will uh, basically make sure at a uh, low altitude altitudes that your hover deviations are as minimal as possible and you can fly indoors with them without having to rely on the GPS signal which is always a great thing. Now as a tool for aerial photography the Phantom 4K is absolutely fantastic and again it's up there with even the quality that you're going to get with the Inspire 1 drone which is a pretty darn remarkable considering the price tag. If you take a look at the current lineup of the Phantom 3 family of drones you're essentially looking at four possible different configurations. Uh, two are Wi-Fi enabled and the other two are using the Lightbridge technology, which we mentioned will get you a better HD feed and longer communication distance. The uh, Phantom 3 standard is a little bit more bare bones. It's a 2.7K camera, which is, in my opinion, more than adequate for uh, most people out there. It doesn't have the vision positioning system, so it's uh, mostly a GPS-enabled drone specifically. But at the specific price point of under $500, it's really hard to argue with the feature sets of the standard. Now, the Phantom 4K that we're doing a review view over here is pretty much identical to the professional minus the light bridge technology and the real odd drone out in this picture is the phantom 3 advanced which is a 2.7k drone so similar camera technology as the standard has light bridge enabled but we don't have 4k capabilities and uh, the, in most regards for the same uh, price range i would probably suggest people go with the Phantom 4K over the Advance unless you really need that light bridge technology and in most cases if you're a casual user you're probably not going to even care that much because at the end of the day you're going to offload your footage and you're going to have better video quality on the 4K and of course on the upper end spectrum with the professional you have everything all included 4K video as well as the light bridge technology and the vision positioning system. Now obviously a great thing right now is the amount of variety you have and uh, I think what the 4 4K is really enabling is the whole democratization of the whole aerial photography space. And the real question for a lot of people will be, should I spend the extra $200 to get the Lightbridge enabled drone or is that really not that big of a deal? And to me, I would personally probably save the $200 and go for the uh, Phantom 4K opposed to the professional because at the end of the day, you're going to be offloading that footage as we mentioned before and the flight dynamics and everything else is pretty much identical. And uh, 480p is uh, not too bad at all in terms of monitoring your video and you get a good idea and sense of what your final product is going to look like. And uh, again, at the uh, under $800, there's really not uh, anything else that's going to give you the level of uh, refinement and ease of use that this particular thing has right now. And if you're in the market and seriously considering to get a drone and you, you don't want to spend a whole lot and uh, don't want to completely cheap out on the standard this is a great middle ground. Now at this point DJI has just released the Phantom 4 and we're going to be doing a full review of that coming up on the channel and check out the description if we've already done one but uh, basically the drone is going to carry many of the same features that we're looking at on the Phantom 3 Professional and indeed the 4K but it's going to enable many smart features. It's going to have obstacle avoidance technology and a whole bunch of different uh, tracking abilities that these current generation of Phantom 3 
Mercury drones don't have. So it's going to be really exciting to see what the capabilities of that thing will be. Stay tuned for that full review. And uh, if you have any specific questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you later. Take care.